Hello everyone, my name is Prime and welcome back to this episode of Prime News. And today, SEO Software released another blog post on the 1.46 update, this time for your Truck Simulator 2, and focusing on the new Spanish signage that you'll find across the Iberia DLC. As per usual, the blog post will be linked down in the description below. That's where I'm getting the eight brand new screenshots and the tiny bit of information I'll be sharing. I will admit, it's not a very big blog post today, but it's a blog post on 1.46, so that's significant in itself. SEO Software is just just rolling out these 1.46 blog posts and it's really great to see the balance between American Truck Simulator and Euro Truck Simulator 2 in the recent blog posts that we've had. And as I just mentioned, this blog post is specific to ETS2 and showcases the new signage that will be added to the Iberia DLC within the 1.46 update. One of SES Software's amazing map teams have been hard at work designing these familiar green and red regional signs that can be found across the Iberian Peninsula with the end goal to bring more realism to the map and help you navigate navigate the DLC. Personally, I think signage is generally speaking underrated across ETS2 and ATS, and definitely not focused on as much as it should be. The addition of signs, and in particular regional specific signs, to both games have made a tremendous impact on the realism and overall gameplay of both games. Although I'm definitely a GPS user whenever I'm in ATS and ETS2, seeing realistic road signs just add that touch of detail that we're so used to in real life. Overall, it's just great to have another blog post on the one. 46 update and I can't wait to see where this update continues to go. So far we've had quite a few amazing things and I'm sure this isn't the end of it. So thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.